Something extraordinary is unfolding across America right now, and what happens next could redefine winter for millions. We're witnessing the development of a winter pattern so rare that meteorologists are calling it a once-in-a-decade setup. This isn't just another cold snap. This is a complete atmospheric transformation that will impact nearly every corner of the United States. What makes this pattern truly remarkable is the sheer relentlessness of what's coming our way. Multiple Arctic invasions are lined up like dominoes, ready to cascade across the country over the next seven days. The first wave arrives tomorrow with a stunning surprise. Snow, stretching from Florida all the way to Maine. But here's what has me genuinely excited about this forecast. Tomorrow's event is just the opening act. As we move deeper into next week, repeated pulses of Arctic air will lock in bone-chilling temperatures across two-thirds of the nation. We're talking about wind chills plummeting to 40 degrees below zero in some locations by Monday. Now, here's where things get truly fascinating from a meteorological standpoint. This extreme temperature gradient will become the fuel for what could be up to five distinct winter storm systems this week. The atmosphere is essentially loading the dice in favor of widespread winter weather. Before we dive deeper, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment with your city, and I'll give you a personalized outlook. Today's forecast will break down exactly what you need to know about this remarkable pattern and why it could deliver some of the most memorable winter weather we've seen all season. Let me start by explaining the engine driving this extraordinary weather pattern, because understanding this will help you grasp why the next week will be so intense. Right now, our jet stream has carved out a massive southward dip, creating what meteorologists call a negative NAO pattern. This configuration is already channeling Arctic air deep into the heart of the American South. In fact, this setup is so aggressive that we're tracking the possibility of accumulating snow in places like Tallahassee, Florida. When Florida enters the conversation for winter weather, you know something extraordinary is happening. What makes this pattern even more remarkable is its persistence. The jet stream refuses to budge from this configuration. Through early to mid next week, this stubborn atmospheric pattern will continue funneling Arctic air southward. The mathematics are staggering. By month's end, we could experience five or six separate Arctic blasts. That averages out to one major cold shot every two to three days. Absolutely relentless. Now, Here's where the pattern evolves in an interesting way around next weekend. The jet stream is forecast to shift into what we call a more quote-unquote zonal flow pattern. Don't mistake this for quieter weather, though. It actually opens the door to a different type of threat. This transition could promote storm systems tracking over the Rockies during the final week of January. When storms take this track during winter, it typically spells significant snow for the Great Plains and Midwest. Areas like Tennessee and Arkansas could find themselves in the crosshairs as well. Even with this pattern shift, the cold air won't be going anywhere because the jet stream will still originate from Canada. If you live in the Midwest or Ohio Valley, prepare for what could be a very challenging stretch of winter weather. Now let's break down the timeline of events, starting with what's already in motion today. The first Arctic blast is currently diving through the Midwest and pushing into the Southern Plains. Today, we'll see snow flurries develop across Texas and Oklahoma, though amounts will remain light. The real story begins tomorrow as this Arctic air collides with moisture along the East Coast. We're forecasting snow from southern New England all the way back through Georgia and into the Florida Panhandle. While Georgia won't see blockbuster amounts, one to two inches is certainly possible in some areas. For context, that's considered winter storm criteria across much of the Southeast. Monday and Tuesday bring the next Arctic surge, potentially the coldest air of this entire sequence. This blast will sweep from the Midwest through the Great Lakes and eventually reach the Northeast. By Wednesday and Thursday, yet another Arctic injection arrives from Canada. Friday and Saturday, you guessed it, another round of bitter cold air. This is the kind of relentless pattern that creates widespread impacts and memorable winter weather. What's your biggest winter weather concern this week? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Now let's examine tomorrow's snow event in detail, because this could be quite significant for several regions. The snow begins developing early Sunday morning across the southern Appalachians in North Carolina. As the day progresses, this precipitation expands northward into Virginia and the Delmarva Peninsula. Simultaneously, 
snow develops across Georgia and spreads into South Carolina and the Florida Panhandle. By Sunday afternoon, New England joins the action with steady snowfall developing across the region. The timing works against accumulation in many southern areas, with temperatures near the freezing mark. However, areas with elevation or rapid cooling could see surprising accumulations. For our friends in major metropolitan areas, here's what you should expect. Atlanta faces a tricky forecast with temperatures hovering right at the freezing line. While significant accumulation seems unlikely, don't be surprised if we see some slushy accumulation on grassy surfaces. Charlotte sits in a much better position for snow, with temperatures expected to support accumulation. The Charlotte metropolitan area could see one to three inches with higher amounts possible in elevated areas. Raleigh-Durham finds itself right in the heart of this system's track. Current modeling suggests two to four inches across the triangle with locally higher amounts possible. Virginia Beach and Norfolk face an interesting setup with the storm tracking just inland. This positioning favors light to moderate snow accumulation of one to two inches. Washington, D.C. sits on the northern edge of this system's main impact zone. While heavy snow seems unlikely, a coating to one inch can't be ruled out. Philadelphia and New York City remain mostly out of this initial system's reach. However, both cities will see temperatures plummet as Arctic air arrives in the wake of this storm. Boston faces the best opportunity for accumulating snow from tomorrow's system. Current forecasting suggests three to six inches across the metropolitan area with locally higher amounts possible. The White Mountains of New Hampshire could see eight to 12 inches from this event. Lake effect snow will become a major story by Monday as Arctic air flows over the relatively warm Great Lakes. Buffalo and the surrounding region should prepare for potentially significant lake effect snow bands. Some localized areas could see one to two feet of snow with isolated locations potentially seeing even more. Cleveland, Detroit, and other Great Lakes cities should monitor lake effect forecast closely. Now let's talk about the broader implications of this pattern for the remainder of January. The Climate Prediction Center has issued a slight risk for heavy snow across a broad area. This risk extends from the Midwest through the Ohio Valley and into the Northeast. Remarkably, the risk area stretches as far south as Arkansas and Tennessee. This suggests growing confidence in multiple winter storm opportunities during the final week of January. Beyond this weekend, the pattern remains quite active with several systems to monitor. Monday and Tuesday bring additional lake effect snow across the Great Lakes region. New York's lake effect zones could see particularly significant accumulations during this time frame. Wednesday and Thursday feature a clipper system tracking across the Midwest and Great Lakes. While not a major storm, this system could produce snow squalls and brief heavy snow. Here's where things become particularly interesting for our Southern viewers. Thursday and Friday show potential for a wintry setup across Kentucky, West Virginia, and Tennessee. This system could even impact areas from Dallas-Fort Worth eastward into central Arkansas. The exact timing and track of this system will determine which areas see the most significant impacts. By Friday and Saturday, forecast models consistently show another potential winter storm. This system appears to target the central plains and Midwest with significant snow potential. For those asking about specific cities, here are some additional outlooks. Chicago should prepare for a very cold week with multiple opportunities for snow. While tomorrow's system misses the city, later systems could bring significant snowfall. St. Louis sits in an interesting position for potential winter weather during the final week of January. Kansas City could see significant impacts from the weekend system currently showing on forecast models. Denver faces a different challenge with extreme cold but limited precipitation opportunities. Memphis and Nashville should monitor the midweek system closely as it could bring meaningful winter weather. Columbus and Cincinnati sit perfectly positioned for multiple winter weather opportunities this week. Pittsburgh could see impacts from both lake effect snow and the broader storm systems. What makes this pattern so remarkable is not just the cold, but the potential for widespread impacts. When Arctic air this persistent combines with active storm systems, it creates opportunities for significant winter weather. The key factor to watch is how these systems track relative to the Arctic air mass. Systems that track along the boundary between cold and warm air often produce the most significant snow. 
Temperature gradients this sharp create ideal conditions for storm intensification. Let me address some questions I know many of you are asking in your minds right now. First, is this pattern sustainable through February? Current long-range guidance suggests yes. The atmospheric pattern shows little inclination to change dramatically in the near future. Second, could we see a major East Coast storm? The pattern certainly supports this possibility. Third, how does this compare to previous winter patterns? This rivals some of the most active patterns we've seen in recent years. For travel planning, I'd recommend flexibility for any trips planned during the next two weeks. Airport delays and travel disruptions are quite likely given the scope of this pattern. Road conditions could become challenging, particularly across the Ohio Valley and Midwest. Those in the Northeast should prepare for potential lake effect snow that could create localized travel nightmares. Energy demand will spike significantly as temperatures plummet across much of the nation. Utility companies are already preparing for increased demand and potential infrastructure challenges. Agricultural interests should take precautions to protect sensitive crops and livestock. The combination of wind and cold will create dangerous conditions for anything exposed to the elements. Now, let me share some fascinating meteorological details about what makes this pattern so unique. The jet stream configuration we're seeing is called a Rex block pattern in some areas. This creates a very... The Arctic Oscillation Index has dropped significantly, another indicator of persistent cold. When multiple atmospheric indices align like this, it creates high confidence in pattern persistence. Upper level divergence patterns are particularly favorable for storm development along the Arctic front. This means storms that do develop have excellent support for intensification. Ocean temperature patterns also support this atmospheric configuration. The combination of oceanic and atmospheric patterns creates what meteorologists call positive feedback. Essentially, each component of the pattern reinforces the others, creating remarkable persistence. For snow enthusiasts, this represents one of the most favorable patterns we've seen all winter. Multiple opportunities for significant snowfall across a broad area are quite rare. What's your snow preference this week? One big storm or several smaller events? Let me know below. The pattern also creates opportunities for some truly spectacular weather phenomena. Lake effect snow could produce snowfall rates exceeding two inches per hour in favored zones. Thunder snow becomes possible when lake effect bands intensify significantly. Arctic sea smoke could develop over the Great Lakes as extremely cold air moves over relatively warm water. Wind chill values could reach life-threatening levels across portions of the upper Midwest. Ground blizzard conditions become possible even without falling snow when winds increase. Now let's talk about what this means for different regions moving forward. The Southeast faces an unusual situation with multiple winter weather opportunities. Areas that rarely see snow could experience multiple events over the next two weeks. The Mid-Atlantic sits in the crosshairs for several potential systems. This region could see everything from light snow to significant accumulations depending on storm tracks. New England appears well positioned for multiple snow events, particularly interior areas. Coastal areas may see more mixed precipitation, but interior regions could see significant totals. The Ohio Valley faces perhaps the most challenging conditions with bitter cold and multiple storm chances. This region typically sees the most significant impacts when patterns like this develop. The Midwest should prepare for relentless winter conditions with little relief. Multiple Arctic blasts combined with lake effect snow will create ongoing challenges. The Great Plains could see significant winter storms during the final week of January. This region often sees the most significant snowfalls when jet stream patterns align favorably. Mountain regions across the West will continue seeing snow, though amounts may vary significantly. The pattern favors more consistent snowfall across northern mountain areas. Looking ahead to February, early indications suggest this pattern could persist. Long-range models show little inclination for dramatic pattern changes. This could mean an extended period of active winter weather for much of the country. Climate patterns like La Nina often support extended periods of winter weather. Current oceanic conditions favor continuation of this atmospheric pattern. For those planning ahead, consider this pattern when making February travel arrangements. Winter weather could remain a significant factor well into next month. 
Before we wrap up, let me address preparation strategies for this extended winter pattern. Stock up on essentials now as multiple systems could create supply chain disruptions. Ensure heating systems are functioning properly before the most bitter cold arrives. Have backup heating sources available in case of power outages. Keep vehicles winterized with proper antifreeze and emergency supplies. Check on elderly neighbors and relatives who may need assistance during extreme cold. Monitor pets and livestock closely during Arctic air intrusions. Stay informed about changing conditions as this pattern evolves. Download weather apps that provide real-time updates for your specific location. Follow local emergency management for the latest safety information. This remarkable winter pattern represents something we don't see every year. The combination of persistent cold and active storm tracks creates opportunities for memorable winter weather. Whether you love winter weather or dread it, this pattern will likely impact your daily life. Stay prepared, stay informed, and stay safe as this extraordinary pattern unfolds. I'll be tracking every development and bringing you the latest updates as they become available. What questions do you have about this pattern? Drop them in the comments and I'll address them in future updates. Thank you for joining me for this comprehensive look at what promises to be a remarkable winter pattern. Make sure to subscribe for continued coverage of this developing situation. And remember, when patterns this significant develop, staying informed is your best preparation. Winter has arrived with authority, and it appears to be settling in for an extended stay. I'll see you in the next update as we continue monitoring this extraordinary winter pattern together.